So probably more than 20 years ago, I hooked up a zone valve, and I think that's the only one I ever hooked up, and I don't even know where it is anymore. And uh, so now I've got two more, and I was a little puzzled by the wiring. It seems simple yet a little, uh, little complex because there's two reds and two blacks. Comes out of the same zone valve, and uh, so it has an end switch. So basically, I was just orienting myself a little bit at uh, how this is all set up. So uh, this is the unit that I'm working with, the box that it came in, in case you're curious. And uh, yeah, so it turns out that the the reds, they both go down to the switch down in here. And then the, uh, the blacks, they convert into the yellow and the orange. So I was looking at to see where that goes, and sure enough, that's the motor. Okay, so the blacks, the blacks will be my uh, 24 volts in, and the reds will be for a an auxiliary switch. So I'm going to hook up this ohm meter to the switch wires, which will be the red ones, and I'll I'll uh, run it. I'll run this little transformer, 24 volt and uh, make this thing go and then I just want to watch the ohm meter to see when that thing uh, or if it actually works just to see it go through its its cycle so I'm about to test and I, I drew up a quick diagram here showing you exactly what I'm doing so here's my power source the transformer and uh, into the zone valve and then I take the reds and I hook that up to my ohm meter so I'm just about to test now and where's my wires here? So if I connect these wires, then that diagram will be complete. Okay. Waiting. There it is. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. You heard the click. It takes a while for the zone valve to move over and do its thing. So now I have confirmed that when the zone valve is open, then it completes the circuit and then I can uh, operate something else with that end switch. Get myself a little familiar. So I'll pull this off now and then uh, see how long before it disconnects. Yeah, you could hear it winding back down. Okay, here's a quick tip for you non-plumbers. If you're going to solder the, the fittings in there, like what I'm going to, make sure you open the zone valve up. See here on the end, I can I can open this up, and what that does is it takes that that rubber stopper that's inside there. It's going to take it off its seat so that it's not contacting the brass. Then that rubber stopper is just kind of hanging there in limbo and it's not going to collect the heat off the brass like it would if it was actually touching the brass so but anyways guys getting her figured out here a little bit so uh, you guys have yourself a good day